Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete data from database using PHP. So I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, we're going to have a delete option here. So for it, let's go to our code and we'll go down and here you can see we have a tier and inside this tier we have the table header. So here we are going to mention another th and in this th we are going to say delete. So let's set this and let me just refresh here. There you can see we have one more th for delete. So here we are going to have a button so that the user can click on that button to delete it. So let's go back to our code and here you can see we have a while loop. So inside this while loop we are showing the ID name and email. So after this we are going to mention a td here and in this td we are going to mention a anchor tag. So here in this anchor tag, we are going to say delete. Let me just save it and let me show you again. Refresh and there you go. We have the delete button. So how do you want is that when you click on delete, this data should be deleted. So first of all, we need to get the ID for the specific data that we want to delete. Because uh, whenever we want to do something with any data, we need to use the id because id is primary key and id is always unique that's why so for it let's go back to our code and here you can see href so in this href we're going to say here display.php why display.php because our file name is display.php and we'll write the delete code in the same file in this display.php file so we want to delete the data using id so we'll give a question mark here then we'll say here id then we'll give a equal sign now we need to get the specific id that we want to delete and here you can see we show the id like this we give the psp opening and inside it we say it echo dollar row id and here you can see we write dollar row equal to mysqli fetch as a dollar result so using this dollar row we are basically showing showing the id name and email so right now here we are going to write some php code so again we need to give the php opening then the php closing like this and here we are going to say echo then we are going to mention this dollar row here so we we'll say here dollar row which is basically this one so dollar row we need to give third bracket to single quotation and inside it we need to say here id so what will happen is that it will get the id of a specific row so right now if we just set this and if we now just go back to our browser refresh here and if we take our cursor over here on the delete button just notice over here at this bottom left side just notice here when i take my cursor it will show us the id if i take my cursor on different delete button it will show different id there you can see and also if we click it it will show at the top the id let me click this on there you can see it shows id equal to two if i click the third on it shows id equal to three so right now we need to write some code to delete that specific data so let me just go at the top and here you can see we have the php opening and php closing and here i connect our display of php to the database so here first of all we are going to check if someone click on this button so how can we check it the thing is whenever someone click on this button we will get the id there you can see we get the id here so we are going to check it by giving a if condition so here we will say if is set and inside it we are going to say dollar underscore get and make sure to give the get capital and inside this we are going to say id because uh, let me go down here you can see we write here id equal to so this is the id that we are saying here so we are saying if someone click on the delete button it means we are getting the id so first of all we will store this id in a variable let's say let's declare variable dollar s underscore id equal to we'll just say this dollar underscore get id let me just copy this and paste it here and end it with a semicolon so whatever id or whatever delete button we click here that id will go 
here and it will store in this dollar s underscore id variable so right now we need to write a SQL query so let me just uh, declare a variable let's say del underscore sql equal to to double quotation delete form right now we need to mention our table name and here you can see in the database table our table name is students there you can see so we are going to mention that here so we we'll say here students exactly we have in the database table then we are going to say here where id equal to we need to give two single quotation this time and inside this single quotation we are going to mention this s underscore id so let me just copy this and paste it here and end it with a semicolon so here we are saying that delete data from the student table where id is equal to s underscore id so here you can see this id will come from the database table here you can see that table and we have a id column here so this id is basically this one and this in the s underscore id we are getting when we are click on a specific delete button so right now in order to complete the delete let me just declare another variable let's say dollar data you can declare the variable anything you want equal to my sqli query underscore query we need to give to first bracket and here you can see we have a variable here dollar con and here we just connect our display.php to the database so we are going to mention this dollar con here then we'll give a comma here then we are going to mention this dollar delete underscore sql variable so right now let's end it with a semicolon and let's save this so let's go back to our browser but let me just explain it again here whenever someone click on this delete button it will get the ids of that specific row store it in this variable and then since we click on the delete button so it will come to this if condition store the id in this variable then we are running this query delete star from students for id equal to s underscore id it will check in the database table if that id exists if exist it will delete the data in this line okay so we are saying that just execute the query so let me save it and let me refresh here and this time if we click on delete button then you can see that data is deleted let me just refresh here as well there you can see there is only one data let me just insert one more data here let's say id is 5 name is random email is random password is random click on go and let me refresh here there you can see there is one more data if i now click on delete that data is deleted so this is how you can delete data in php i hope this was easy for you to follow i try to explain as much as possible so that you can understand it clearly thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials